So how do you avoid becoming that networking jerk? You know, you, you know what I'm talking about. You've seen them. They're the ones with like a martini glass in one hand, passing out business cards with reckless abandon with the other. You know, these are the individuals that um, you can actually smell it on their suits a mile away. You know, they're ever ready to launch into their pre-practice pitch. You know, I suggest you just try to be one of those individuals that doesn't do that. One of those individuals who walks into, a, into an environment and just with great genuineness reaches out to others. Here's what you want to avoid. Don't schmooze. It's better to spend more time with a fewer people than, you know, one hour trying to get together with as many people as possible. Make some real connections rather than just blanketing the room with your, your presence, not getting to know anybody at all. Be genuine. Make your goal a, a couple of meaningful conversations. Schmoozers are always those smarmy eye darters looking from one person to the other while, in fact, they're actually pretending to talk to you. You know, that's a good way to lose both respect to that individual and also a lifelong connection that could have been there. Don't rely on gossip. You know, it may be an easy way that you think you're connecting, but it's actually not going to be good for you in the long run. It's going to be one of those things that people are going to think about you and you'll be untrustworthy and, and you might even actually offend them. Don't come to a party empty-handed. What, what I mean by that is, you know, sure, you can bring wine and flowers, that's always great, but come prepared with real conversation about stuff that's interesting at that given time. Be transparent, at least try as hard to be transparent as you can. Be as open as you possibly can with the information that you're providing or, or even just your admiration of this individual you're talking to. People really respond with trust uh, when they know that you're actually being really straight with them. Earn trust. Be respectful and, and take your time. That's how you'll make contacts who will become real professional allies, but more importantly, ultimately friends.